Hi Ho Silver with another happiness hack, which is give back. And I want to talk today about kindness, which is an incredible form of giving back. It is something that we have discovered that is not just altruistic, but it makes us feel just as good as the people we're being generous to. Isn't that great? I love that. And so that's not just my great idea. There's been lots of studies about this uh, at Harvard, and Wayne Dyer used to talk about it all the time, and uh, the University of Zur Zurich, for example, who did a study, and I'm a little annoyed they didn't invite me to this one, because they sent people shopping. Yeah, sent people shopping. And they discovered that people who uh, shop for themselves, there was a certain level of pleasure in that. But the people who bought gifts for others, their pleasure level was much, much higher. And so turns out that that's really something that works nicely. And the way Harvard put it is they said um, uh, they linked generous behaviors with activity in the reward regions of the brain, as well as an increase in dopamine, the neurotransmitter involved in motivation and pleasure. I like to say it a little bit more poetically. Uh, I love this quote. It says that the fragrance of the rose remains on the hand that gives it. That's incredible. So years ago, there was a movement called Practice Random Acts of Kindness, and it made a major impact on the world and continues to this day. I still hear about people who uh, pay the toll for a car behind them, or they go to a restaurant and on their way out, they pay the tab for a family uh, that's sitting there. I love those stories. And of course, if you've been around me at all, you know I love something called flash mobs, uh, which is a group of people who get together, practice, and then go to a public place and either play music or they put on a boombox and they dance. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Look up flash mobs if you've never seen one. It's a gift. <laughs> That's my kindness to you today. So um, there's a number of different ways that you can practice kindness. If there's somebody in your community who's alone, you could go visit them. I'm sure I promise you that they would really, really uh, appreciate that. Um, there's with your family. I laughed when I read this one because I thought, I wonder if when I was a little kid whether I would have done this. Uh, it says, do the chores for a member of your family uh, who needs a break. My, my older sister probably would have fainted <laughs> if I had offered that, but I like to think that I would have done it. Now, for some of you who are very kind, like my husband, who's the most thoughtful man I've ever met, you become a little bit wacko when you're on the road driving. For example, my husband, when somebody tries to merge in front of him, he'll speed up because according to him, if he doesn't do that, then that other driver has won. <laughs> I don't get that, but when I tell this story to men, most of them really get this concept. But one of the ways that you can practice random acts of kindness is on the highway. Just let people merge or in parking lots. You've maybe scoped out a really great parking spot. Let somebody else have it. That'll make you feel good and it'll just, if it doesn't make them feel good, it'll certainly shock the heck out of them. <laughs> So it, and it, you know, it doesn't also, it doesn't need to be just for humans. I mean, one of the ways that um, we can extend kindness is through animals. Uh, for the example, this dog, they love having their ears scratch. This guy loves it so much and that he makes it look great. His friend has to come over and get in on the action. He'll pop in here in a minute. Here he comes. <laughs> but animals love that. Uh, and, you know, it's an easy way to be kind uh, because sometimes, you know, if you've been hurt by humans, sometimes animals are as good as you can get, and that's plenty good. So the happiness hack this week is practice random acts of kindness. I'm looking here to see what my title is again. Okay. And uh, give back. Give back. And remember, you deserve to be happy and it is possible. Bye for now.